Hello everyone, my name is Aspic23 here for a contained module tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at the unknown cipher module. And yes, it is pronounced unown, not unknown. But if you if you pronounce it unknown, like the English word unknown, no one will care. So this is what the module looks like. Uh, we're going to look at this one. Uh, it has five different screens. We're just going to press, and if we press the screen, the other screens get slightly darker. And we have four different numbers on the bottom that correspond to that letter. You can press these buttons to cycle through the letters, and they're all unknown letters. And um, all of them are found right here in the manual. In case if you can't correspond which unknown letter corresponds to which regular Latin letter. And um, so, this module does not require edge work. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to click the first screen to get the four numbers. For, um, for the first screen. I'm going to write them down. We have 4, 11, 14, and 7. Uh, we're going to click the second screen. We get 3, 11, 0, and 7. For the third screen, we have 4, 3, 1, and 6. For the fourth screen, we have 12, 4, 10, and 5. And for the last screen, we have 12, 15, 13, and 1. Uh, one thing to note is that the numbers will always be between 0 and 15. And the next thing we're going to do is, for all these four numbers, we're going to convert them into binary. Now it's important that we're going to convert them into four-digit binary numbers. So in this case, even though zero just converts to zero, we're going to write it as zero, 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 zero. Uh, let me actually make... So example four is going to be zero, one, zero, zero. I'm going to copy all of these. Eleven is one, zero, one, one. 14 is 1110. 7 is 0111. 3 is 0011. 1 is 0001. 0 is 0000. 6 is 0110. 12 is 1100. 15 is 1111. 10 is 1010, 5 is 0101, and 13 is 1101. So, I know that the process of me fit replacing the decimal numbers with the binary numbers looked bad, uh, but we're going to do it a different method later that maybe doesn't look as bad, or at least hard to read. So now, um, now we have four binary numbers to represent each of the five screens right here. Oh. Um, so now what we need to do is for each number, um, we're going to go through each of the four numbers for each screen and we're going to take the middle two digits of each number in the order of this order right here or right here as red, yellow, blue, and green. We're going to take the middle two digits and we're going to append all the middle two digits to make a new binary number that's eight digits long. Uh, we're going to do this for all of them. I didn't think of a faster way to do this, so I just want to make sure I don't screw up. But anyway, now that we've done all of that, we now have five eight-digit binary numbers, or one for each screen. So now what we need to do is we need to change this eight-digit binary number back into a decimal number. Uh, I'm going to be using um, the calculator app, and I can enter in this binary number, and it will show me a decimal number. In this case, the decimal for this is 159. For this is... Ah. Oh, this is 83. I didn't, I didn't practice this beforehand. Um, this is 147. Uh, 
This is 166. And this is 184. So now what we need to do is we need to divide all of these by 10. So we're gonna put decimal points here and we're gonna remove everything that's past the decimal point. So now we have 15, 8, 14, 16, and 18. Now we're gonna convert these back into a letter by taking the position of the alphabet, in this case 15 is Oscar, and then we're gonna add one to, or go to the next letter of the alphabet, in this case Papa, um, similar to LED encryption, so 8 is India, 14 is Oscar, 16 is Quebec, and 18 is Sierra. So now we have our five letters, which are Papa, India, Oscar, Quebec, Sierra. Now we just insert that into the module. As you can see, we have Papa, India, Oscar, Quebec, Sierra. What you do, we press submit. And that's a solved module. And all of these turn to exclamation points. You can click all this all you want, nothing will happen. So, uh, now there's another method which we're going to do. And instead of, well, the last time we did all the letters at once, um, another way that I kind of do it is I just do one letter at a time. So in this case, we have 14, 4, 6, and 4. Uh, 14 turns into 1, 1, 1, 0. 4 is 0, 1, 0, 0. 6 is um, 0, 1, 1, 0. And 4 is 0, 1, 0, 0. The middle two digits gives 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. And that turns into two hundred thirty-eight which will sort into 23, and 23 will be x-ray. Now, we have 7, 10, 8, and 12. 7 is um, 0, 1, 1, 1, 10 is 1, 0, 1, 0, 8 is 1, 0, 0, 0, and 12 is 1, 1, 0, 0. Take the middle two digits, we get 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. And that translates to 210, which will be 21, which will be Victor. Now, this does not look like a Victor to me, but all the, all the letters will be down here. As you can see, that letter is the same as this, even though they clearly doesn't look like it, at least not to me. Anyway, next, we have 2, 9, 2, and 10. That is 0010, 1001. 11010 zero, and 1010. Zero, one, zero. Okay, 01000101. Zero, 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 one, zero, one. And that translates to. I'm sorry that you're not able to see the calculator, but that translates to 69, um, which will be 6, and that would be golf. Uh, now we have 8, 10, 7, and 1. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Let's change this to 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. And that is 28, which is going to be 2, which is Charlie. And that clearly doesn't look like Charlie, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, we have 6, 1, 12, and 7 for the last one. That is um, 0110, 0001, which is 11001011, and that is 203, which will be 20, which will be uniform. And that's another solid module. As you can see, it says solve on the top, but before it said solved, it said submit. So that is two solved unknown cipher modules. As you can see, uh, the process isn't that hard. It's just a little bit lengthy, but not too bad. Now there is one more thing I do want to show you, and that is um, with this module, I've already pressed a little bit, but let's see if I ever submit the wrong answer. It will just strike. Now it won't tell me what letters are wrong.
because why would I tell you? That's an unknown thing. Jokes aside, um, you, it will not tell you if the module is wrong, and you have to recalculate for all the letters. And question mark will never be a valid answer. Um, the reason is because the lowest binary number you can get is eight zeros, which will correspond to zero, which is alpha. And the highest digit you can get is eight ones, which corresponds to, I think I put nine zeros before, which corresponds to 255, which will be Zulu, which because it translates to 25. So Zulu is the rarest letter in that case, um, and all the other letters have an equal chance. Um, but it does correspond that the method will guarantee you to get a letter. If you're not, then you're doing something wrong. So the only way to get the, qu the question marks appear at the start of the module and the exclamation points only appear when you solve the module. So before I go, there's one more thing I want to show you, and it's kind of an Easter egg in this module. Alright, I'm back, and as you notice that this unknown cipher is kind of different from the rest of the unknown ciphers on this bomb. That's because this middle one right here is shiny. And what does the shiny mean? Well, it just means nothing other than it looks different color-wise and it has a little sound effect at the beginning indicating that, hey, you found a shiny. Um, now, since unknown is based on Pokemon, unknown is a Pokemon and a shiny Pokemon exists. This is what it looks like. Its colors are, I think, a little bit more lighter blue than this. But essentially, this means that, um, you know, and compared to the rest of these, this one's a different color and kind of cooler. And so what I did was to find one of these. I just loaded up a Centurion full of these. And as you can see, it took me 45 attempts to find one of these. And I was actually con almost convinced that it didn't work. But it does work. So um, for an unknown to be shiny, the red number has to be um, modulo 4. has to be 2 or 3. So the red number modulo 4 must be 2, 3, excuse me, 6, 7, 10, 11, 14, or 13. And then the rest of these three numbers all have to be 10. And you notice on the start of the bomb, we had that shiny sparkle effect indicating that we had a shiny one. And um, here's another thing to note though, is that um, despite only change in appearance, the only thing you'll note that is different about this is that the letter will always be either India or Victor. Uh, we can calculate this module right now. So uh, let's do the rest of them first in order. So we have 4, 15, 7, and 8. That is 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0, 0, 0. That would be 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. I closed the calculator, so I'm going to get it back up. Uh, I made a mistake. Hold on. All right. Uh, it's 188, which would be 18, which is Sierra. Next, we have 5, 13, 13, and 3, which would be 0101, 1011, 1011, and 0011. Be one zero zero one zero one zero one, and that is one forty nine. This should be fourteen, which is Oscar. Then the special boy over here, we have two, ten, ten, and ten, which is zero zero one zero, one zero one zero, one zero one zero, and one zero one zero. So you have zero one zero one zero one zero one. which is 85, which is 8, and that is India, like I said earlier. It can only be India or Victor. Okay, next we have 6, 14, 4, and 4. You have 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. The 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. It's probably going to be a really big one. 
Yep, it is 250, which is 25, and that would be Zulu. Even though it looks nothing like Zulu. And we have 8, 1, 15, and 4, which is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 0, 1, 0, 0. That would be 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. And that is 14, which is 1, which is Bravo. And apparently that's Ron. I can't do this, apparently. <laughs> Alright, I'm pretty sure I found my mistake. Apparently 13 is not 1011, it's 1101. I don't know why I thought that, but... So this is 169, which is 16. And that is Quebec, not Oscar. And there we go. So yeah, that is what a shiny unknown looks like, and that's what happens. Um, you'll always know it's India or Victor. Um, the chances you find in for each unknown, it's 1 in 8192, based on the way the calculations work. Now one thing I do want to mention about this module before I head off is that um, the, the actual solution isn't really meant to spell out a word. I mean, this technically, if you don't consider Yankee, then this is, doesn't even have any vowels, and it's all the correct answers, so... If it does spell a word, it's just coincidence. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this tutorial, and as always, keep talking and don't explode. I forgot this by my 10 strikes.